Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jody's Beer Reviews. And this one we are looking at Goose Island's Golden Goose. So, multi crisp balanced Goose Island Beer Co. Golden Goose Lager, 15 IBU, 5% alcohol volume, 440ml can. Brewed in Belgium. Ingredients, water, barley, malt, maize, barley, sugar, hops. Okay. So, this is it, guys. Goose Island's Golden Goose Lager. So, I've had, um, I've had Goose Island IPA before, and I liked it. I remember it was pretty hoppy. Um, I've never had this stuff before. First time having it. Um, I bought a four pack of this from Asda for four pound fifty eight exactly. Um, so let's get it into a glass and see what it is all about. So first time trying it, not had it before. Um, I have had golden. Um, sorry. Oh, I sprayed there. I have had Goose Island IPA, which I liked, but I ain't ever had this before. And this is the lager. So. Let's check it out. So this is a new lager for me. Damn, look at the head. Goose Island Golden Goose Lager. So I was pretty interested in this. I bought it to check it out for the channel. Um, got three other cans in there which I'll probably enjoy later. So the appearance of the beer in the glass looks very, well, the head, it's half head, it's half beer. Don't worry, the head turns into beer anyway, so it's cool. Um, but it's very see-through, guys. Pretty see-through beer. You can see right through it. It is a tiny, no, well, maybe a tiny bit hazy, but it's, it's very see-through. White gold appearance with a very strong, thick, white, bubbly, fluffy, frothy head. Let's go with the aroma. Ooh, it smells nice actually, it smells bready. It smells sweet, it smells grassy. I can smell maize. Um, there's maize brewed, uh, brewed with this, and I can smell that. And it smells very strong, sweet, sticky smell. Sticky, sweet smell. A little bit bready in a way. A tiny bit grassy. Let's fill it up for the taste, yo. Hmm. So, I think we can get away with the taste, yo, can't we? Hmm. The, the head is really massive on it, look at that. Just go with the taste to you guys. So, cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Golden Goose. I Goose Island. Cheers. Can definitely taste amazing now. Um, mm. Yeah, it's very sweet, guys. Um, you can taste that maize. It's got a kind of sticky, sweet taste, which is there. That's, that's all way I can describe it. Pretty pungent maize, corny taste. Corny, sweet taste. Um, light bodied. Oh, well. Medium bodied, sorry. I would say it's medium bodied. There's a breadiness taste there. Mm. Mm. There's a nice malt taste. There's a strong sweetness, which is coming from the maize. Kind of like a syrupy sweetness in there. Um, yeah, I would say medium bodied beer. Lager, sorry. That's it back. Uh. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that sticky, sweet taste, that feeling, which comes from the maize. 
pretty strong in my maze side. But um, a lot of people like that. I like it. I quite like that maize taste. I can actually smell it when I was drinking it there. I could smell the maize as well. The maize is quite potent on this one. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty bitter-ish. There is hops present. There is a hoppy balance to it. Um, okay, guys, let's just go with the the artwork score. Score of the artwork. It's pretty boring, isn't it? In a way, it's pretty. It's just like, do you know what it reminds me of? Um, Brew Dogs Lost Lager Cans. It's very similar. Very similar to the Brew Dog Lost Lager Cans with the writing and stuff. Um, maybe that's trying to compete with it, who knows? Maybe I should do a versus or Brew Dog Lost Lager versus Golden Goose Lager. Because they're both top tier breweries. And they now produce some good lagers, so who knows? Um, I can definitely tell you though, this one has a strong smell and taste of maize. It stinks, man, of maize, honestly. It's what this kind of sticky sweet smell, that's the only way I can describe the smell and taste of maize. Corny, a wee bit corny. You would, you would, you will identify that um, smell and taste when you smell or taste it. You will be able to know what I'm talking about. It's a sweet, stickyish smell and taste, which is present in quite a lot of higher alcoholic lagers. Um, this is five percent. No, this is only five percent. Um, so it's pretty sessionable. I would say it's a sessionable beer. Um, the artwork is pretty boring though. I would say the artwork out of 10 would get a 5 out of 10. Um, what about the drinkability of this beer? What is the drinkability out of 10 for this one? I would say the drinkability is like a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10 for the drinkability, so I still have the um, On the aftertaste, there is a strong sweetness. Strong, sweet, sticky taste. <clears throat> also malty as well. Okay, where are we at in the video? Seven minutes in. Well, eight minutes now. Um, let's go with the final grade of this one, guys. It's crisp. There's a real, real pungent, sweet maize taste there. Mm. But it's actually really nice. Um, it's crisp. Um, I would say it's well balanced too. It's, it's pretty smooth. Would I buy this again? Yeah. I would buy it again. I don't mind it. It's fine. Um, a lot of people might get put off by that sticky sweet taste that I talked about. Um, and some people will like it. I don't mind it. Don't mind it. Um, I would buy it again. I would. I would. I would um, recommend it to a friend. I'm just thinking about doing a versus now of Brew Dog or Swagger versus this one. I don't think a lot of people know about this beer, but. Pretty glad I checked it out. It's really sweet, guys. It's sweet, sticky, sweet taste, sticky, sweet smell and aroma. Absolutely reeks of maize. Uh, syrupy sweetness to it. Mm. Yeah, guys, that's fine. So, what is my final score for? Golden Goose by Goose Island was my final score on this beer out of 10. Um, let me have another wee drink and then I will give you my final score. Cheers for watching everyone. So sweet. 
Um, I would say it's a lot sweeter than quite a lot of. Um, I would say it's a lot sweeter than your other lagers that are out there. Um, like you wouldn't get this much sweetness in a Foster's or anything like that, you know. Um, would I say it's a bit more? Would I say it's more higher quality than a lot of the other lagers out there? Um, well, it's just a lot more sweeter than your other lagers. Like, if I was to compare it to, like, a lost wagon, I would say it's probably sweeter. Um, it's a sweet wagon, guys. It's 5%, which is pretty, pretty fine. Um, where is this brewed again, actually? Sorry, let me just remind myself. Brewed in Belgium. And I love Belgium beers. Let's get the rest in here. There we go. <laughs> My head is stayed intact. Um, so guys, my final score on Golden Goose by Goose Island Lager. <laughs> Golden Goose Lager by Golden Goose by Goose Island Beer Corporation. 15 IBUs, 5% alcohol, malty, crisp, and balanced. It is balanced, it is malty, it is crisp. Um, yeah. So, my final score on this one, guys, is going to get a 8 point... Ooh. It's going to get a 9 out of 10, guys. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I do like that um, strong sweetness which is there. I do like that taste, to be honest with you. It's nice. That mazy, glucose syrupy taste which has gone on with this beer. Um, I do like it. Would I buy it again? Yes. Um, 9 out of 10. Straight up, 9 out of 10 for Golden Goose from Geordie's Beer Reviews, guys. I do like it. I would buy it again. Um, I've got three other cans in there, which I will enjoy soon. Um, yeah. So, 9 out of 10. Just a straight up 9.0. 9 9.0 out of 10 for Golden Goose. I like it, guys. Um, I would buy it again. It's fine. It might be just a little bit too sweet for some people because there is a really strong sweetness from that maze, which is which is brewed with. It's really corny too. Um, so I'll, maybe some people might be put off by that, but I'm not. I, I don't mind it. I like it. Itchy hell. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. And peace. Take care of yourselves, guys, out there. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Catch you guys in the next one of Jordy's Beer Reviews. Whatever beer review that's going to be, I do not know. Um, if you've got anything you want to say to me, comment down below. Um, any beers you want me to review, comment down below. And if I get them, I will review them for you. I will try and re respond to every comment. Um, and like every comment as well. So, um, yeah, check. I will reply to everybody that I can reply to. So, just have a wee check and see if I've replied to you. Because I probably have. Very strong with the maize. Um, very sweet, corny taste. But I like it. 5% guys, would I say it's sessionable? Yes, it's sessionable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. That was my first time trying this one guys. I really like it. I would buy it again. Um, it's not exactly a 10 out of 10. But it's a 9 out of 10 from me. So. I think that's a I think that's a fair score for this one. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. My mates will just think of this. What are we on? Fifty minutes.
it stinks of maize. Tastes of maize. So if you like beers with maize in them, and you can like easily identify the maize, you would love that because that's all you're identifying, really. Um, so guys, yeah, I like it. Nine out of ten. I think it's good. I would buy it again. It's fine. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this. I am going to cut this video review off. Add me on Untapped if you want as well, Jordy K01, and I will add you as a friend. Um, yeah, anything else, guys, that you want to say to me, just comment or whatever, you know. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one, and bye!